What is up everybody? This is Rob the Vapor and today we have a review of a sub tank and it is the Arctic sub tank by Horizon Tech. It's a nice neat little unit and we're going to talk a little bit about it. I'll bring it in close, give you guys an unboxing, show you what you get in the package and we'll talk about how good it is. Okay, so this is the newest sub tank on the market really. You've got the Ego One, you've got the Kanger sub tank, you've got the Aspire Atlantis sub tank and many others which I am forgetting because I've lost track of them. But what makes this one unique, at least out of the ones that I've tried, is that it comes with 0 0.2 ohm coils and it is uh, capable of going all the way up to 100 watts. I've even used it at 120 watts and I've had absolutely no issues. Which is crazy. It's, it's crazy. I want to make sure I have enough liquid. I do. It, it's an absolutely crazy tank. Um, so we'll go up to 120 watts and give you guys a little uh, demonstration. Now guys, remember, uh, whenever you get a sub tank, make sure that you have the mod capable of firing it. Uh, a lot of mods won't actually fire at 0 0.2 ohms. So if you're buying a regulated, please make sure that it does. And if you're using the mechanical, vape safely, know your limits, etc, etc. Because you got to be careful, otherwise you're going to end up blowing your hand off or something. But anyway, so let's give her a whirl. We are at 120 watts. Time to caramelize some e-liquid. Um, you, you wouldn't be able to vape particularly long on 120 watts. Because you can taste, like the liquid goes very sweet. It almost, I would say, caramelizes probably. Um, but I'm very impressed with this coil and how it holds up under high temperatures. And it definitely does do as advertised. I've heard some people say they've had issues with the 0 0.2 ohm coil. They can only go to 50 watts or whatever. But that's probably just a dud coil. That happens with anything that has coils. You might get a bad coil. But for the most part, this thing is a very, very good sub tank, uh, and it's definitely one that I will use a lot. Let's give it a, we're at um, 75 watts now we'll do, and we'll just give it a, a whirl. So it's a lot of vapor right out of the package for a little clarimizer tank. Like, it's crazy how far we've come. Flavor is very good, very distinct flavor. Um, and I, I want to revisit the Kanger sub tank and I want to do a head to head and we'll also talk about the Atlantis as well. I don't have my Atlantis anymore, I vaped the forward, but I want to do a, a head to head of the three sub tanks. But the flavour in this is very, very, very good. So let's just talk a little bit about the unit. Um, so it comes with your 0 0.2 and your 0 0.5 ohm coils, we'll see that in a minute. Um, and so the coil itself is a replaceable bot bottom vertical dual coil is the term that we're using. We're not going to break open a coil in this video, so because I've only got two coils. Um, and the airflow, yeah, it's got three millimeter, four three millimeter airflow holes, and I'll show you those up close again, guys. And it uses USA made Cantal allegedly, um, and stainless steel Pyrex construction. And that's about it really, um, so I'll just give my verdict on this tank now and then we'll bring it in close for the unboxing as we usually do. So, personally I think this is a great tank, um, and I think that if you're someone who is making the switch from say a starter kit, or say maybe a Nautilus and an MVP or something, and you want a lot of vapour, that's, that's, that's where you want to go. Uh, the Arctic sub tank is probably the best purchase right now because of the 0 0.2 ohm coils and the fact that you can go through ridiculously high wattages. So you're allowed to test a broad spectrum of heats and different, you know, it's, it's pretty good for trying different liquids at different temperatures because it can withstand a lot of temperature. Um, of course, please be safe with these things, guys, because a 0 0.2 ohm coil is very low. You know, that's for the most part lower than I would ever build when I'm rebuilding. Um, sometimes I do go to 0 0.2 ohms, but not that often. 0 0.5 ohms is sort of where I like, whether it be with rebuilding or whether it be with a sub tank or whatever. 0 0.5 ohm is what I like. Um, but, I think this is a great tank. The build quality is excellent, and again, we'll see that when we go in closer. The flavor is excellent. There's no leaks. I've had no issues with it, and it's just a solid unit. The airflow is really open, and um, it's very flavorful. So, I mean, pretty much 
Uh, it has everything you could ask for from a sub tank. It does not have an RBA section, and I'm pretty sure that they haven't made one yet. Uh, let's just see if they have a RBA section, because I don't want people in my comments calling me out, saying, You're a dumbass! We've already got my cat is in heat. You might hear her outside the door. <laughs> so annoying. Can you hear that? <laughs> um, by, uh, but apparent, apparently there is one on the horizon. I don't think there is an RBA head yet. So that's a plus. So, you know, when the RBA head comes out, you'll really have the potential to do what you like with it. And at that point, then, the world is yours. So there's also the Mellow sub one tank as well, which is another one that I haven't talked about. So yeah, uh, out of the tanks that I've tried, probably better flavour than the Atlantis. Um, I, there's no spit back, uh, and it does drink liquid. It's only a 3 mil tank, so you will go through 3 mils quickly. And I know a lot of people would say 3 mils, that's a lot, especially if you're coming from something like a Nautilus. But in a sub tank, you will eat through liquid, so you've got to keep that in mind. Um, so solid unit. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I really like it. Uh, I will probably use it instead of my sub tank for just daily vaping. Um, but the lack of the RBA section then, you know, might have me going back to the sub tank, stuff like that. But as far as performance at 0 0.2 ohms, this thing is a beast. Let's just give her one last word. No dry hits or anything either. Um, it just powers, powers, powers through. Even at high wattages, it's very, very impressive tank, guys. Um, as soon as I seen this tank, I was like, I have to get it for review. I have to get it. And finally, I got it. It's been a while because there was delays. The initial rush was quite high with it. Um, but I, fi I finally got it now. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this in close. Uh, I will show you the unboxing. But right now, I'm going to talk about where I got it, how much I got it from. And then give you a final verdict. So I got mine from Sigreen.com. Um, they're Irish based. So if you want one from Sigreen, just go to the link in the description. It's 35 euro, which is good value for a sub tank. It's probably one of the best value sub tanks on the market right now. Um, and yeah, it's a great unit. I would give it, for what it says on the tin, performance wise, a 5 out of 5. That There is no issues with it and it's worked perfectly and flawlessly and it works as advised i can't take away a notch for features that aren't there because it's not advertised as something that has an rba or whatever so flavor is great vapor production is great airflow is great coils perform fantastically and um, it's awesome the three the three mil tank is a slight knock but not enough to knock at a point or half a point so Five out of five for the Arctic sub tank. Very impressed. Let's bring her in close and take a look and do a little bit of talking about the box and how it's presented. Okay, guys, and this is what the tank will look like when you get it. So it has your BTDC um, little indicators there for what you have. So mine are 0 0.5 and 0 0.2, so they're both ticked. Um, but you can also get... Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 1.2 in just a single turbine coil for whatever that's worth. I haven't tried them, so I can't really tell you. Back of the box has got some fitting instructions, and we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, it's all pretty simple. It gives you the description. So 0 0.5 to 1.2 ohm, 10 amp continuous discharge. 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 ohm, a 25 amp or higher continuous discharge battery is required. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the back, which is nice to have the instructions there, right? And here is the tank itself. Let's see if we can get all the focus up on here. Yeah, there we go. Complete with my mouth gunk, and I will show you the unit. So there you go. As you can see, it's a really nice design. Airflow is nice and wide open. And it's got four airflow holes and they're all quite wide so it's quite an airy draw by default but you know you can bring it you can tighten it up a little bit if you want it a bit tighter but and there's the 510 pin um which is just a little 
flat plate there. But you guys can uh, mess around with the uh, adjusting the airflow and stuff to your liking. Now, you might like it or you might not. It depends. So if you're wanting to refill this, guys, you're wanting to open, unscrew at the bottom, like so. There we go. Bam, pop it out. And pretty much the same as any other tank with a coil. It's like that. And your coil. We'll, we'll show you a dry coil. Fuck that shit. We don't want to get our hands all juicy because I do that every video. So this is where you fill the tank over in the sides. There you'll see there's two little sort of areas that go down into the tank. So you want to fill it there. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty small tank, 3 mil. And uh, especially if you're at 0 0.2 ohms, you're going to go through it like crazy. But, you know, such is the nature of the beast, really. Um, and here are the coils. Let's show you guys the coils here. So as always guys, whenever you're using a sub tank, um, always prime your coils because if you burn that OCC, that cotton, you will have a bad time. It will probably ruin the coil forever, so make sure it's well primed. I always leave it for like five minutes before I even vape it, but first, you know, if you want to prime it, let's just take a little bit of juice there, never mind my e-liquid tissues everywhere. And if you want to prime the coil, you're just going to do that, prime it along there along the little vent holes and just make sure that it gets nice and soaked up and stuff like that and then there you go of course autofocus isn't working as usual so it wouldn't be a video if i didn't have autofocus not work on me um, and there as you can see this is where the airflow come in big huge airflow holes so all in all it's a really nice designed unit um, and like i said it performs absolutely flawlessly there has been absolutely no issues with leaking no issues with spit back no issues with pretty much anything for me from the um, tank itself. So that's about it guys. I'm Rob the Vapor. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Arctic Sub Tank. I really enjoy it. I think it's fantastic. I recommend it a lot. So go and check it out if you're interested. Peace guys. Thanks for watching.